Hello there, YouTube. We are back with some more match play commentary for y'all. I'm joined by the Highwayman himself, the Kaiju King, the Quackity McQuackerton, EJ. Oh. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> that hurts so much. <laughs> that hurts so much to do. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna take five. You got this. All right. Well, we got some matches over from Dean's dugout for y'all. Um, if you folks don't know already, Dean's is the local card shop that we go to every Sunday for Digimon pop off about 12.30 p.m. So if you're in the Chicagoland area and want to check them out or just come hang out with us, we're there every Sunday, like I said, in Naperville, Illinois. Dean's dugout. Check them out. Great shop. And we would love to see you guys there. Uh, but today's matchup features Arby, who is playing Seven Great Demon Lords on the left, going up against Stack. Um, who is playing Ragnarok. It's been a while since we've seen Stack on cam, so it's always a fun time seeing the boy there. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this matchup. Before we hop into the round itself, you know, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you appreciate the content, because we definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, check out our socials, which are linked down in the video description below. It includes our Instagram, our Twitter, our Discord, all that good stuff. The Discord, once again, is the best place for you all to find uh, the deck list of our players. So please, if you're looking to see them, um, just hit us up there. You know, it's the easiest place for us to get them to you. And there's also a lot of good discussion going on there too. So feel free to check those out. Um, and lastly, just check out if you're interested, how to become a member because, um, it is great to see sort of that community grow and we are definitely cooking up some exciting things for you guys there too. So check that out. Um, as I said before, instructions are in the video description. So without further ado, let's hop right into the round over here. So this should be a, a neat one because Ragna yes. kind of just tells Demon Lords, hey, I don't care what you do, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, you know what? Normally you don't care what I do. Guess what? I don't care what you do. I can taste your own medicine. I also mm. just want to say this now. Mm. I'd like to apologize to all my, my Demon Lords apologists out there. <laughs> I, I understand that I may have upset some of y'all with my um, harsh, but admittedly, let's be honest, fair comments <laughs> about Demon Lords uh, over the past week and some of the recent videos. Um, I did not mean to harm you or your perception. Uh, however, I still believe what I said. Roll tight. All right. Hook them home. So. <laughs> Hook them over. Uh, so we see pretty good starts, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, Stack instantly climbs, climbs to a five in the back. Gets some good search with the Ludo. RB already getting his gate going. Got a creepy tucked. That is quite the hand in RB. Yeah, it's a little, little tough, actually. Not really much removal here. A little X. That's interesting. You know, when you did that accent just now, and you were talking about demons and all that. Yeah. You reminded me of uh, Rob Pattinson when he was in The Devil All the Time with Tom Holland. You sounded exactly like him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Um, but we see Stag push up. Um, he drops the, I believe it's a Zuba. Yeah. Tucks so it, it does underneath. The effect. Yeah, to reveal top three, can place them in any order on top or bottom, and then tucks, and then gains two memory when it gets tucked. Oh, super we'll, eager. Yeah, we'll pay one to tuck that, which I believe gives him plus DP, I believe. Mm -hmm. If I do recall correctly. Or no, sorry. It uh oh yeah, it's plus four KDP. Plus four KDP. So it's and basically then, like a plus six K boost, which is insane. Go Duranda. Duranda has blitz, so we'll go ahead and do a check. And yeah. right there and then just Yeah, he raided and pierced through the uh Yeah. The little effects, I believe. And then, yeah, two checks because of the uh, Dura effect. Yeah, the Dura effect before he went to Randa. Yeah. Yes, so sir. Pretty yes, sir. solid start by Stack. I mean, he's already got his level six established. Bielza is tough. Yeah, I'm Dura play... didn't plus one. I don't know what gave him sec plus one there, actually. I have no idea. Didn't it doesn't something trash or no? Oh, he trashed up because yeah. he redirected. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Sorry. Yeah, um, so Bielza will come out, will D-Digi and go ahead and rush swing over the stack, which is a good play on Arby's part because stack now essentially just has to re rebuild. 
We yeah. build his and now stack. RB will <laughs> just put the Beelzemon into uh, his security, but does not have a Lucy Chaos mode to Evo into, looks like. Um, does have to play Lucy some cards, Chaos, though. though. Yeah, it does. Next oh. set. Dude, I'm so excited, finally. I'm just not excited to see Lucy X in this deck. That's gonna yeah, be Lucy scary. X. Yeah, it's gonna be scary in Demon Lords, but I'm so excited to play just like Lucimon, like Lucy Control. Yeah, like Lucy yeah, Tribal. Like fun. I've been wanting a Lucimon deck since BT7, since the moment I looked at that secret Lucimon. And like now that we're finally like here, like we have like enough cards for a full deck for it. We have our uh, Satan mode finally. Mm -hmm. You know, 18 sets later. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of the most iconic Digimon and enemies in the Digimon world, you know. Um, like, such a cool card. And then Lucy X. Lucimon X for anybody is, is insane. Yes. An insane card. Crazy card. Yeah. Um, but RB is just resolving some effects. He ended up tucking a Levia from Trash uh, underneath his Demon Lord stack after the Lucy left the field. Right now he's just considering what he wants to do. It is a little tough because his hand seems a little kind of gummed up. Um, I feel like mm -hmm. BLs is not a bad option here. You just play him out. You do a little bit of milling. Rivals is a good mill hit. And then you can just swing it with Rush. Not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just chilling. Big chilling. Also, might as well just get some swings in while you can because once Ragna hits the board, which stack is already threatening now, then it is a little tougher for Demon Lords to do stuff. Ooh, a Leviathan X. Yep, let's grab that. We'll tuck the card back into here. And this way, RB has recovered all the way back up pretty well. Uh, does put a card into his uh, gate sources, but still no chaos mode. Mm -hmm. Kind of crazy. It looks like he has one in hand, but he has the evil from trash. So. Yeah. All right, so Stack will push up his uh, Durandamon, will yeet the Spotamon to gain a memory, yeah. tuck a Dura underneath. Which that does give Stack plus one. Mm -hmm. And he has the ability to trash security. We'll go ahead and place a uh, Zuba Eager as well. Yep. We'll swing Duranda here for, he'll raid into the Lucy. We'll trash the top card of security and then do two checks. Wait. Does it a heavens, but he is he's bigger. bigger. He's 18k yeah. right now. Because <laughs> well, yeah, I mean Zuba Eager is just gives plus 4k when it gets tucked, and then has a plus 2k inheritable. So it literally just says, "Hey, I'm gonna give this guy plus 6k for the turn." <laughs> it's so nasty. It's so gross. And then we'll just go ahead and just tuck a rag or uh, a Raiji rather to give some protections here. And I mean, Raiji is a fantastic card. The fact that it's just overall like when it would leave the battle area, no yeah. matter what, be it by battle, by effect, whatever. Well, there's a chaos mode. Yeah, stack. We'll go ahead and take the ship. RB will recover here. Which I think is smart. I don't think you want to lose your Raiji. Yeah. Although we see what RB's about to do. Yeah. So that Raiji is going to go bye bye anyways. Which is pretty tough. Um. But I mean, Ar good call for RB. Like, like teching in the heavens. I know it's yeah. more recent addition. Heavens for is him. a good card. Yeah, and I mean, it makes sense. I mean, with the Lucimons, the Shotos he's running, Lucy Chaos Modes, DP mm, Reduction yeah. is just yeah, I forgot one of the strongest Shoto. forms of removal. Yeah, yeah, he has access to it much more consistently right now. Stack just doing some setup. Dude, I'm so excited for Lucimon. I'm just thinking about all the alternates I have in my binder, and I'm just like, yes, <laughs> finally. It's your time. <laughs> my poor financial decisions have, have manifested. <laughs> All right, so we see stack just Evo, choke RB to one, and calls it a day. Pretty good. Pretty so good. Lucy will get popped. We'll be able to play out a Demon Lord from his trash here by bottom decking a Lucimon. He's got pretty good options here. BLs is not bad. You did Digivolve. Yeah, it looks like he, I mean, he has a Gudo in trash already. I feel like mm -hmm. you probably just play Creepy here, no? Creepy or Levia? I was gonna say Leviathan's not a bad choice. Creepy's not a bad choice. Oh, you know what? His either. deck is really low. His yeah, really low. I, like I probably Levia would have been a decent option too. Yeah, just a pop, pop. I don't think he had any protections. Ooh, yeah, a little bit of extra. Remember okay. to work. That's never bad. That's why we were counting. That's why we were counting. Oh. Uh, 
Bring back the Bielsa X using the rivals. Uh, BL's X in theory. Just trash rust the security. Yeah. Yeah, evil for one. Trash rust the security there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but I don't think I mean can Arby can calling here. He would have needed the X antibody in theory to swing with BLs and then go into X, but Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Does decide to just choke to one here. Doesn't looks like he grabs any cards back. He just clears his board there. Yeah. Which is interesting. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Now he's tucking. Wait. Okay. Stack will use the option. Go ahead. Tuck something underneath. I don't know why he tucked. I'm confused. Did I miss something with Arby tucking? Unless he forgot to tuck earlier when Lusa. Oh, he forgot to tuck earlier when Lusamon left the board. That's why. So he was just catching up there. That's all it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think Stack is in a little bit of a tough position here just because Ragnus still takes a lot of time to build. And as we see here with the Leviah coming out, well, you know, you do get to pop everything. Stack does activate some effects, which allows him to play Bryway Ludra back out. Which is not bad. Not bad. You get that guy on board, it's pretty sticky, but... Okay, let me just go ahead and Biting Crush. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Actually, wait, was Bryway Ludra already on the board? I'm confused how he got there. I think it's like when this... Uh, this it's one of the effects, right, of the like the previous stack. If this were to be like deleted or removed from play, you can just go ahead and play out a level six. Uh, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with Ragnus. Stuff, I don't know. So I, might I don't know what just happened. There. It looks like stack scooping though. All right, so we go yeah. game two. I don't know. Whatever happened, happened. If you know what happened, let us know in the comments below because <laughs> I blinked, <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Wow, bald guy, that was a long blink for you to not realize what was happening. And you know what? <laughs> you would be right. You, you, you clever duck, you. You are correcto mundo, brother bear. So please tell me. Please explain. Because much like Tarzan, I want to know. Can you show me? <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage to fit that one in? <laughs> brother, sometimes, sometimes the lack of hair follicles, they just, they release a certain beast in me. <laughs> that oh. was pretty good that was an impressive one to do thanks man thanks that's about all i got <laughs> i think that when i got balder i got funnier because <laughs> i didn't have i lost the looks so i had to do something hey. roll tie <laughs> roll tie <laughs> i definitely got noticeably more southern when i lost my hair that's for sure yeah, so it oh was my. it was um the three cost option, mythical arms or salvation. Oh, um, I turns, forgot that was on the board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When that, okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay. You can I thought you were saying the Digimon, and I was oh, like, oh no no no, sorry. It was I thought you meant a Digimon option. had that effect. I'm like, I don't know a Digimon that does that, but I, f I forgot that Stack did indeed play that. My bad. All right, <laughs> moving on to the next one here. Pretty. Okay, start. I mean, just kind of loading up sources and getting that getting that rise of the summer demon lords is pretty good. Like early on, we do see stack though instantly climb to a five. Stack was drawing heat all day, man. In my matches against Stack, he always had a five in the back every time he was ready. And Ragnar sees his stuff, man. It's 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 a it's scary, scary deck. It is scary. It's very efficient. It gets so many good effects. It's like Raiji gets talked. Will force that little to swing. Start a main, but I mean, it doesn't matter. She's gonna get popped anyways. Um, we go ahead, go into Brightway here. Are you able to play out the Tia? Not bad from Stack right here. No, pretty good. Choke RB to one. <clears throat> so RB will start of main. Go ahead and we'll start a turn. He'll tuck the egg. Uh -huh. And then. He can choose to pop the Lilith. He doesn't have to swing. Chooses to... Yeah, chooses to pop it. Mm -hmm. 
does not have or she didn't tuck anything what am i talking about yeah, although the gate should anything, gate should tuck something gate should tuck her if anything right i think the gate tucks the card that i think it should lead, no or am i crazy um, but we see a bl's come out um Bryway, unfortunately for rb um is unaffected by digimon effects so does not get the digital and here we go into a ragna uh, which will, by tucking something underneath, gain three memory. Yeah, that's tough. Arby should have tucked for Lilith because it oh. deletes all and then just places one. If Rivals. So Stack will be able to strip a source to keep protect. You hit a Shoto and a option card, but yeah, no, no options security effects because of Duranda. Pretty darn. Duranda good. goes crazy. No, no security yeah. effects go off in general. Not even just yeah. options. Oh, yeah. Can't play Tamers, yeah. Digimon security effects, like all of it does does not matter. So, um, Beelzebub will get cleared. A little tucky tuck. He'll get tuck. He'll tuck himself under there off of the gate effect. It looks like, and then tuck something. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Don't really matter. Two things get tucked regardless. Just doesn't matter. This doesn't really matter the sequencing. Um, we'll go ahead and rise here. To play out the BLs. Uh, Will did Digivolve 2, but he's immune to Digimon effects, so Beelzemon does not matter. Mm -hmm. Will Mill Top 4 does find the Agudo. But is it almost like too little too late at this point? He's not even ready for like a full fledged Agudo play. No, he's not. I he mean, knows. and even if, even if he had placed a little, like he was supposed to, or at least I'm pretty sure he's supposed to. I might be wrong about that. I'm, I'll get yelled at in the comments, I'm sure, if I'm wrong. Um, Arby just scoops here. Yeah, it's, it's just GG. So there's nothing you can do here. R R the Ragnar's just... It's too strong. <clears throat> wow, the the lighting there changed right where I would have done the transition. Look at that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we shed a little light on this. I think it's the... Um... See here, let me see here. Uh, but what are y'all looking forward to in 2.0? You know, we the new set is just around the corner. You know, we've got actually some pre-release events probably coming up very, very soon. Um, if I'm not mistaken, set drops um, November 1st with the first regional. Um, Dude, that's going the day after. Bad window. <laughs> It's such so a bad it is going to be very interesting to see how that all plays out. Um, I'm going to be honest. I highly doubt a lot of people are going to have their cards just because like, I don't know, like I'm sure people. It's will only going to be people that made. had cases. Yeah, it's yeah. only going to be, be the people that got cases. And even then, because the hard thing we have to remember, this is a much larger set for us. You know, it's, right. it's a set and a half. So our ratios are going to be skewed. Like, it's going to be hard to get all the SRs that we need. Like, rares, commons, whatever. If you get a case, you'll be fine. You'll probably need a couple of boxes to get everything you need uh, in that regard. And even then, that might not be enough. But, like, the the fact that, you know, like, people are going to be uh, um, trying to scramble for cards for that regional for, like, their last chance. Because that's, like, the last NA regional that's online. Correct. Um, so people are going to scramble for that one. That's going to be a tight one to to, to get into and get involved if with. If I get off the wait list, it's going to be a Mirage or Imperial type of day. I ain't trying to put together anything last minute. Yeah. I mean, still faithful. Still faithful. Still faithful. Mirage, Mirage still doing good. All right. So Stack and is already, in a, already in a very, very good spot. Yeah, that's the ST Broadway we have there. RB will drop the creepy, popping the little spot of boy. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and do some milling and calls it a date. So stack is he yeeted one card, gained a memory, play out a Luda to search five. We'll pick up the looks like it's the Bryway. Yeah. The X6 Bryway and the BT3 or BT2 Ragna. Just go ahead and go into Old Faithful. Good old yep. BT3 Ragna. So, crazy yeah. thing, by the way, I was watching this match from the side. Uh, Stack did not have oh. a, Dur uh, uh, a Durandamon. Uh -huh. 
in his hand, he drew it off of the Evo into the Ragna. Talk about drawing heat there, brother. It is the luckiest thing because he did not. I don't think he had one, so I'm pretty well, sure he top decked it off. Also, of the Evo speaking the... of lucky, the two checks that he did with that bad boy was a Shoto and oh a yeah, Mako. and a Mako. Yeah, yeah. Which they just they don't go. They don't do nothing because that Durand is inheritable is insane. Hey man, when it's your day, when you be Yugi Moto, you Yugi Moto. Yeah, and he's protected by Digimon effects, so like RB can't really do much. Does place a card for the creepy leaving. Just more often than not, instead of Yugi, I'm feeling like Tristan over here. Yeah, I'm creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. The heavens going bye bye is tough. Not that he could play it anyways, I guess, but. Okay, we do get some search going. Mm -hmm. Lusamon will go ahead and recover a card real quick. There is no chaos mode to Evo into, but we will tuck a card for the Beelzebub or the uh, Creepymon leaving the board. Um, Yeah, this is just a rough matchup for Demon Lords. It's just hard unless RB likes. He has an option now to pop it. Mm -hmm. at least but there is a raiji in there too right so even if you attempted to stack just shreds the raiji and then rb passes turn correct and and, to protect, yeah I mean, stacks also doing a very very good job at giving rb like very very little to work yeah. with he's he is playing it very well making sure that there's minimal uh working he can go ahead raid into that target will peer will will trash top and then pierce Jesus. for rechecks oh. for game yeah, that's it. I mean, That'll when Ragnar sees his pieces, it does everything it needs to do, man. It does everything it needs to do. That was some that good was, matches. That was a clean, clean Ragnar game. So shout out to Stack, um, who, spoiler alert, eventually actually won locals that this week. So congrats to Stack. Yes, yes, he did. And he um, bought me in the third round. <laughs> it was me and him. I got a second, though. We take that. We take that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely some interesting things there with with both of these decks and Ragna Low-key, I think very much slept on in this meta. It can do a lot of crazy things um, Against a lot of top tier decks. So definitely not something to um, To just kind of brush off Ragna is to be taken seriously um, yes, But sir. hopefully this video convinced you of that so let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like I said earlier, you know, let us know what you are looking forward to building in 2.0. Um, there's a lot of stuff that is going to be very exciting to see and a lot of stuff that is going to be nice to like get on the channel and kind of refresh um, all of us because we feel like I've been stuck in like EX7 for, for God knows how long now. Which is funny because it really hasn't been around that long, but it just also did not change the meta like drastically yeah. enough to do anything. It's so, kind of like how EX6 did it, I yeah, think. Which I mean, I think is like technically like the whole point of these like supplemental sets. It's not supposed to like fundamentally change the meta too much. I yeah. Think. Yeah. It's just a couple of cards here and there that are pretty fun. Maybe a couple of like new decks that you can mess yeah, around with, but yeah. nothing too drastic. Right. Um, but yeah, should be exciting as we start to see some more and more stuff roll out um, and as we start to see the sort of beginning of a new chapter in our meta. So stay tuned for all of that. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below and hopefully catch you on that flippy flip. Bye bye. Bye.